Hey, I'm here with Peggy Slappy. By the way, I'm Terry Swanson, and I just want to do some little short takes of best practices for FPCs to try and help people extend relationships, get better at it. And I've had the fortunate uh, opportunity to work with Peggy as the alternate and to watch her relationship with Rob Woodall. She's been doing, I mean, you could not get a better relationship than she's got with Rob Woodall. But one of the things as we were talking, she mentioned that she did not have that type of relationship with the first person. So Peggy, how did you right. work through some of those things with the first? When I was a fir first in FPC, my congressman was not friendly to realtor issues and not very welcoming for us to come in. It was difficult because when I would meet him with set appointments, he would he would want to take over the conversation. So I had I was it was a challenge to say and let, now let's circle back around to the point I was coming to make. Even though he uh, was not responsive to our issues, he would finally tell me, no, I'm not going to vote, I can't support you in that. And I thanked him very much for being a great servant and statesman, but it was not a great relationship. Fortunately, it changed, and it's a world of difference now with Congressman Woodall that I was able to bridge that gap and build a relationship and help connect him to the realtor party. And, and you know, I've watched it. I mean, the relationship they've got, it's, it's phenomenal. You gave some nuggets to me when we were just talking about how you kind of, you work social media, you work a whole bunch of different right. things. What could they do if somebody needs to get a better relationship or find out how to get deeper in their relationship? First of all, it's almost like stalking. Go to their Facebook page. Go follow the votes of how they voted. It's really important that you know how they have voted on certain issues because you need to appreciate them for the votes they place that support our issues and then be aware when they voted against you. As well as follow their Facebook page, get their e sign up for their email to be uh, on their regular email thing and find out when all their town halls are. You can do that on their website or social media. Many times you'll get a postcard, but not always. So when they have a town hall, that's what I first started doing with Congressman Woodall. Well, I did it with my other congressman as well, but it wasn't as well received. Always kind of move your way to the front of the crowd, sit down up front, get your chair, get early, and uh, be visible to him. Just wearing your name tag, letting him know you're there, and hearing him. And more than that, show up at fundraisers, you know. And you said something, you said it is not just a quarterly thing, it's an everyday oh, thing, really. it is not a quarterly thing. You don't just need to see your congressman four times a year. You will not develop a relationship with him if every time you see him, you're asking for something. You need to show up to support him and be a cheerleader for him and appreciate him. Another thing is write notes to the staff, personal. And I just found out it's very difficult to send a note to D.C because a, the, any hand mail goes through a, an extensive process of security. So it's better to email thank you notes to the DC staff, but always uh, do send thank yous and just notes for any occasion. And if you know it's a birthday, by all means, text and wish a happy birthday. Common sense things, uh, <clears throat> but I gotta tell you, it's been great working with Peggy because when I get around her and Rob, it is phenomenal, the relationship that they have. So just wanted to put some things out there so that we can help everybody have the best chance of success developing those relationships that make a difference for being an FPC. Anything else you want to say? Thank you. Just enjoy it and make your voice heard. Thank you.